Hi guys, the Tech Tuts guy here with another tutorial. In this one I'll be showing you how to make a copy of any uh, PC game and be able to play it without the disc in the drive. The example I'm going to be using is Sims 3 right here. The program I'm going to use to do this is called Power ISO. I've already downloaded this but I'll pop a download link in the description. You just need to go ahead and download that. After you have Insert the disk that you wish to uh, to make a copy of. I've already done this, so I'm just going to walk you through it. Um, what you do is install the game as you normally would. After it's installed, you should be able to play it with the disk in the drive. All should be working fine. Once you've done that, with the disk still in the drive, you need to open up Power ISO. From Power ISO, what we're going to do is make a copy of the disk. Here's the copy button, you're going to click that and a little window like this is going to pop up. Here you're going to select the disk drive that your uh, game is in, mine's in here. Then you will click ISO file and then start to copy. I'm not going to do it because I've already done it. Um, after you've done that you will have a file that looks a bit like this. This is a complete copy of the entire Sims 3 disk, saved as one single file on my computer. Power ISO is now going to create a pretend disk drive, one that doesn't exist. And what it's going to do is it's going to use that file to make my computer think that there is a Sims 3 disk in this imaginary drive. To do this, you're going to need to go to this mount button here. Here you'll see mount image to drive, no media. If you don't, you just need to go to set number of drives and check one drive. I'm now going to click mount image to drive and we'll see this browse window here. I'm now going to navigate to where we save the copy of the disk. Mine's saved to my desktop and here it is, The Sims 3. So I'm going to click that and now we're all done we click on the mount button again you'll see here that it says mount to the drive is this file on my desktop. Now my computer believes that there is a Sims 3 in the disk drive even though there isn't. So now that we have a copy of the disk mounted to our imaginary CD drive and I have no physical disk in the actual drive I'm now going to try starting the Sims 3 game. Here we are at the game launcher, and now I'm going to start the game. As you can see, the game is starting without prompting me to insert a disc. I was um, really sorry, as you can see just a moment ago, as the game was starting up, my screen recorder unfortunately didn't pick it up. Um, you can probably hear it starting up, but unfortunately nothing showed up on the video. Really sorry about that. Um, but yeah, as as I said, the game was starting up. Um, I don't actually have a disc in the drive, so that was very good. Very good outcome. It has worked. Um, yeah, so uh, this, this method should work for almost any game. Um, I've used it quite a few times, I'm not aware of any instances that it has not worked, although I'm sure as games, uh, as technology gets more advanced there are obviously going to be ways of stopping people from doing this kind of thing, however obviously there's the other side of it and there will be always way there will always be ways of um, getting round security. Um, so anyway I hope you have fun using this. Uh, this is the Tech Tuts guy. Um, please rate, comment, and subscribe. I'll uh, be back soon with more tutorials.